Good morning and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to try out, um, we do an experiment. If you watched my first look, I mentioned that um, I want to mix the Prince Albert um, that is world famous. And I mentioned also in the first look that many generations, um, this was the staple pipe tobacco for good reason. Um, although it might be a codger, but for many, many years, this was one of the staple pipe tobacco for our ancestors. Now, was it the case because they didn't have the selection we, we are privileged to have today, or is it because it is actually quite tasty? So, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to open this and we're going to smoke. Um, I'll try it and let you know what I think of it. And um, what we're going to do after that is do the mixing. Every, everyone is driving me mad. Come on, Nathan, just do it already. So I said I got to do it on video. So <laughs> I'm recording this video now in order for everyone to try the new mix. And what is that mix that I mentioned in the first look as well? 80% Prince Albert and 20% a Latakia blend. Now I was debating, should I go with the McBaron HH Latakia Flake or uh, that I did decided to go ahead with is the Pesce Canoe. That actually I store these in um, airtight container because it's not really vacuumed. Um, so those are open and smoke regularly. I put in a mason jar, but those are still sealed. I keep in this container, and um, so it's, it's you know keeps it fresh. Let me just get it open and take out the one that we're going to mix it with. And this is the Pesce Canoe uh, 14. I reviewed the 20, uh, which is 20% Latakia. Um, and it is absolutely delicious. And I smoke this regularly. Um, but this one here is a bit too strong for me to smoke neat. This is 40% Latakia leaf. And um, but for mixing with the Prince Albert, uh, this is ideal. So uh, what we're going to do is now, but you can try this if you want, the same idea, if it's more easily accessible, the McBaron HH Latakia or any good Latakia blend, 20% uh, Latakia and 80% Prince Albert. And apparently um, the one who recommended me said it elevates the blend to completely something different and um, delicious burly leaf goes so well with um, the Latakia leaf of this uh, of any blend Latakia but this one here has got that Turkish Latakia which is a bit sweeter a bit less in your face um, smokiness and also it's got a bit of oriental in here I, I reviewed um, the Pesacanoi 20 so you can uh, take uh, watch that to get some kind of an idea of how delicious this uh, blend is. The only difference, this is 40 and the one I reviewed is 20. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to open this tin. I already tore off the wrapping before. It shouldn't make too much of a noise. And what we're going to do, I'll fill a, a bit of a bowl with it. Prince Albert as it is and see what our ancestors enjoyed so much and then we're going to go and mix it I'm going to make myself a 50 gram mix that means 40 gram 40 gram of Prince Albert and 10 gram of the Pesce Canoe Latakia and then smoke that and see uh, what what's all the fuss about of those who are doing who told me this um, blending um, secret okay so Oh, I didn't show you how it comes. So it comes and it was this was on top of it, and this sort of uh, the lid, the lid, and it's it's not vacuum, but I think it will hold fresh for a while until you um, because it's it's a quite snug fit here uh, until you put it into a, a fairly big mason jar. I ordered a few of thirty-two ounce or one liter ounce, uh, one liter mason jars. So, um, yeah should get it by tomorrow from Amazon. Now, let's try the Prince Albert first. So let's give this a smell. Yeah. That unmistakably 
earthy, nutty, nearly chocolatey cocoa nut. Now, I, I, I reviewed uh, not long ago the uh, Ken Byron Ventures, the morn, uh, Burley Morning Pipe, which is amazing. Um, yeah, it is amazing. I ordered quite a few more of those. I mentioned that time that I was taking it to the barbecue and everyone loved it. It is such a delicious, um, real, like a chocolatey coffee note to it. Um, and it adds so much with a creamy note with the coffee in the morning. It is bliss. Um, this has got some resemblance, not as high, you know, um, the highest quality like the Ken Venture, but. Um, the Ken Byron, but this is very nice smell. It's got maybe a touch of vanilla, I'm not sure. It's got a, a slight creamy note, but mainly it is a chocolatey, cocoa-y, um, nutty, earthy um, smell. Not much sweetness to it. Maybe there is a Virginia here. You see, because you can see the leaf. Um, it is obviously very uh, shredded, like more than ribbon, um, and the, it's fairly moist. Well, I won't call this moist, but it's definitely not dry. But you can see here various um, darker leaf. I don't want it to spill. Um, so maybe that is the, maybe there's a touch of Cavendish in here. Um, because you see, you can see there is a bit of variation of colors of leaf. So I'm not 100% sure because on the tin, it just says the smooth blend of Prince Albert pipe tobacco is achieved by adhering the high standards we set in every step of production, the attention and care paid to selecting our tobaccos equals that of blending and finishing. As a result, Prince Albert Pipe Tobacco provides superior consistency. And on, on the front here, you can see Burley Base Blend, um, Burley Pipe Tobacco. So those of you who smoked uh, Prince Albert know all about it. I never smoked it. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is now we'll give it a go uh, as it is. And then what we're going to do is um, do the mixing and try that another pipe and see what is the whole fuss about right so let's um close this i don't want it to yeah this will stay fresh in this in the original tub packaging this is don't forget 14 ounce um yeah 14 ounce so it will stay fresh for a few days Oh, longer even but i'm gonna get a, a, a mason jar and um give it a go so um just to touch up here on um on you'll see now tobacco reviews um the details that i'm looking at, at the moment so brand john middleton um, um and um what was it? a blend type burley based Content Burley Cavendish. You see, it does say Cavendish, cut ribbon. I would say it's even more shredded than ribbon. Um, now, the Carter Hall, of course, is John Middleton as well. And the Carter Hall, I enjoy very much. I'm not sure if I, my review on the Carter Hall is uploaded yet, but it will be. It is a also a very delicious blend. Uh, no thinking about just good old fashioned good pipe tobacco. And I suspect that this will be the same, and we'll know why the previous generation smoked this as the staple. Is it was it because they didn't have anything else like we're privileged today, or is it because it's really good? Let's find out. Mm. Nice. Oh, I think there is here a bit of a creamy note. Mm. I won't call this aromatic. I will call this slight, slight casing. Smooth, nutty, earthy, with that uh, unmistakably typical good burly leaf 
by note of chocolate, cocoa, maybe a bit of coffee, but not as it's not as same standard as the Ken um, Ken Byron KBV for short. Definitely not, but you're paying a lot less for 14 ounce. It's probably the same price you pay for 50. Uh, 50 gram 1.7 ounce <laughs> so, yeah but for the price very pleasant very pleasant indeed mm. it's got even I would say like a very slight spice to it retro inhale especially <clears throat> but mainly it is the base you know the nutty the earthy um the deep the rich earthiness that sort of borders the chocolate cocoa um notes <clears throat> yeah not the best drink to pair up this is hot um lemon and tea lemon and honey Not exactly the best. Um, should have made really my coffee. Mm. No frills, just plain good old traditional pipe tobacco that our grandparents and the generations before them always enjoyed. And you can't fault it. This is a very nice everyday blend. Tongue bite, you will never get from this blend. This is a cooler, the coolest smoke you can, you can imagine. Burly. Mm. Quite like this. Very nice. I can enjoy the Granger, the Carter Hall, they haven't seen yet my review on that time they said that, but the Granger was very nice actually, surprisingly good. I ordered another top and the half and half, as you've seen, the half Virginia, half Burley. I just love these blends that you don't need to think about it much and they're not worth a fortune. You buy them, you've got stock of tobacco, whoever you fancy a blend here and there, really nice. Yeah, so there is definitely a A bit of that chocolatey, cocoa-y, I won't go as far to say coffee, but more the chocolatey, cocoa-y note. Uh, ever so slight sweet note here. Maybe that's coming from the Cavendish that they added here, but there's no mention of Cavendish on this tin, on this top at all. It's burly all the way, burly pipe tobacco. Uh, but there is, I think, a bit of a mellow sort of sweet brown sugar in here somewhere. Maybe that is from the Cavendish. But mainly Burley, of course. Uh, at Virginia, I don't think. If there is a Virginia, I would say it's less than 10%. Mm. Nice. Really nice. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this as it is. But now, what I'm looking forward to, so I'm going to let the pipe here. And now we're going to go to the table cam. And we're going to mix um, the Pesa Canoe 40 um, with the Prince Albert. Right? So let's go now to the table cam. So what we're going to do is now, um, this is the 40. Yeah, as I said before, I, um, I've got plenty of the 20. But the 40 is, uh, I, I didn't order because it was too pungent, uh, I assumed, and um, too smoky, even though this is a Turkish Latakia, which is a bit softer, mellower, less on the campfire smokiness, but yeah, 40 is too strong. But we're gonna mix it now with the Prince Albert. So what we need is now um, 10 gram of um, Latakia 40. Uh, so let's open the tin. And this is a brand new tin, they're ordered specially for 
um, this mixing. Let me just open it one minute. I need to undo this tab here. Here we are. So, um, and this is gorgeous looking flake actually. I don't want to ruin anything here. Just look at that. Let me just give this a smell. Oh, pungent. Oh, wow. Smoky. Spicy. Oh, full on, full on. So um, we're going to take out, I'm not sure, how, let's have a look how much we need, 10 grams. So let's switch this on. And um, let's see how much is 10 gram. Let's put this on. 710. Okay, 10 gram. I'm not going to start cutting off. Should I cut off a small piece just to see if I can get it bang on? 957, 984. Oh, yeah, this is good enough. Okay, this is you've got 10 gram of the Pesekanoi. Let's put that in my tobacco pouch uh, tray. And um, let's now make. Um, 40 gram of Prince Albert. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to put this dish um, and we're going to press zero. So now anything I add would be the net weight of the leaf. So let's go. Right, so here we are, 40 gram of uh, Prince Albert. So now what we do is, um, this doesn't need any more shredding. So let's take this away and what we're going to do is shred the Pesekanoi. Right, so here we are. So this is uh, 10 gram of the Pese Canoe, and I must tell you the aroma of this uh, leaf is all over the place. It is absolutely a delicious aroma. So what we're going to do is now add, um, I'm going to have to mix these two. So I don't want to make a mess of it on camera. So what I'm going to do, um, I'll put you on pause a second and mix it all up and then we'll come back. Right, so this is the mixture of originally planned 80% Prince Albert and 20% Pesacanoi. But smelling it, it smells delicious. But I think I need to add a bit more of the uh, Latakia leaf in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this into 60 gram. Um, so I've got already in here 40 gram of uh, Prince Albert. So I'm going to add, an, add another 8 gram uh, of Pese Canoi. So it works out 30% the Latakia and 70% um, the Prince Albert. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back in a sec. Right, so here we are. 8 gram. I'm going to shred it and put it in that plate. So give me a second. I'll do that. Right, so here I've got another 8 gram all shredded and now I'm going to add this to um, the 42 gram of the previous mix. Uh, yeah, so it will be the moment of truth very shortly. Okay, so let me finish that and I'll be back in a second. Right, so here we go. Um, this is 60 gram of 70% um, um, Prince Albert and 30% of the, the Pese Canoe Latakia leaf. And you notice I haven't shredded the Pese Canoe to bits. 
Um, it's still got pieces here, so like this, when I smoke it, um, I'll taste it um, quite, um, hopefully it'll be quite nice. So here we are. So what we're going to do is now is jar it and let's get it back on top and uh, have a smoke, see what it's all about. Right, I'll see you in just one second. Right, so here we are, uh, all done. I've got 60 gram mixed uh, between so we've got here 42 gram of Prince Albert and 18 gram of uh, Pesce Canoy. So it works out 70% Prince Albert and 30% Pesce Canoy. Originally I was planning to do 80-20 but then when I was looking at the mixture smelling it and asked a few guys to smell it as well um, they said a bit more smokiness is needed a bit more to, to taste the latakia in it so yeah so we went up a bit more and now uh, here we are so i wrote it on the lid so like this i know what exactly it is um so it's 70 30 originally planned 80 20 so now it's 70 30 right so let's give it a go shall we everyone is waiting for the verdict but before we do that, let's have a look quickly on the Pesce Canoe Latakia 40 on the flavor profile, on the blend um, info, uh, rather. Okay, so you'll see down the screen, Latakia Flake number 40 is characterized by its main ingredients, the smoky Latakia, which is, however, uh, permeated by an unmistakably fruity aroma of reminiscence of plum. This line impresses with an increased tobacco density of 40% Latakia. When lit, the smoky character initially predominates, while the natural sweetness of Virginia becomes noticeable in the background, followed by a woody nuance. The flavor of the Virginia comes through clearly, but the smoky and the woody Latakia takes over stage, takes center stage. Uh, Turkish Latakia offers significantly uh, differs significantly from Cyprian or Syrian Latakia, which I explained in the uh, when I reviewed the Pesekanoi 20. Uh, it is more soft, mellow, less on the f um, um, campfire, and it's got as well a sweet a sweetness to it and a fruitiness to it. It's an absolutely amazing Latakia leaf. This mixture presents itself with medium firmness and impressive density yeah so um and is distributed by comp uh, cop tobacco so here we are so now uh, we'll give this a go shall we so um and is uh, by the way i think there is as well a bit of oriental in it uh i'm not sure why it was not mentioned in here uh, because as you can see, Latakia Oriental Pipe Tobacco. So yeah, there is a, a, a very small percentage of uh, um, Turkish leaf as well that gives it a very nice um, spiciness as well. So um, you can see the leaf now. Yeah. Um, so there's a mixture of the burley, of course, and here and there dotted the um, Latakia on the Pesce Canoi. Yeah, if you look closely, um, it's quite evident. So, just one thing I wanted to do is give it a good mix before I uh, put it in my bowl so we get quite an even mix here. Now, the smell. Right, so. The smell of the Pesce Canoe is full on pungent, smoky, um, freshly ploughed field, um, a bit of spice, a bit of fruitiness in it. I smell this plenty, believe me. Yeah, so spice, smoky, and uh, a bit of fruitiness to it more not not apricot more the plum fig that type the earthy fruitness a bit of spice mainly is the delicious fruity smokiness del delicious 
I love this blend. So uh, when you smell this jar now, it's milder and you still get that chocolatey note of the burley. Now, if you know, I reviewed one's Bob's Chocolate Flake, which is a Latakia with a chocolate uh, note. And I mentioned also in the first look, in the, the previous first look, that I bought quite a lot of it is because I find the uh, combination of chocolate with um, Latakia is irresistible. It is amazing. So here, the chocolatey is the natural from the natural leaf rather than a topping. It's absolutely delicious. I just need to put you on pause for one second. Sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. This video has got quite a few pauses, <laughs> right? Uh, but otherwise, it would have taken too long the whole mixing process and uh, I had to go see to something fairly urgent so we're back uh, on schedule so let's uh, so yeah so the smell is sort of smoky uh, slight smokiness slight spiciness a bit pungy but also you got that lovely earthy knotty chocolatey note from the burley yeah it's a completely different smell um let's try now smelling this yeah it's a completely different smell so this is really a different blend so what in the essence this is is a latakia uh with a bit of virginia and a touch of oriental and burley now i'm not sure if there's added cavendish to it so yeah interesting mix so let's see what it's all about so i'm going to try it on my savanelli vigna 216 and the reason why i'm choosing this pipe is because uh it is a wide it's more of a pot style um, and we'll be able to get a fair um even mixture in here so when I light the surface of the bowl, I will get uh, both uh, all the leaves um, rather than a bit more in the bottom, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Now everybody is waiting for this video because they all want to try it. So let's give it a go. lovely well you taste a very slight smoky note um, but it's sort of random because the leaf is spread within the bowl so you get like uh, first of all you taste the burley right and with the way i describe it with a bit of a very lovely earthy nutty chocolatey note to it but then you get a touch of a smoky. Now this smoky, uh, as the Pesek Hanoi is so famous for, is like a plummy, fruity smoky, and it got a bit of a spice. And the ever so slight Virginia added here, adds, a, I wouldn't say citrusy or tangy, but it does definitely give it a bit of a more of a sweet, note mm. and you get a touch of that oriental leaf in there so you get a bit of a, a added spiciness to it but not overwhelming if I would have smoked this as it is, it would have been, whoa, in your face. Even though this is a Turkish Latakia, still, it would have been too pungy, too smoky, too spicy for me. 
the 20 is absolutely delicious because it's 20 percent so here what we've got is the 40 percent latakia but added with a bit of virginia a bit of oriental in an in a 70 percent burley mix which is a perfect combination yeah i think i cleverly added the extra 18 um uh, gram the extra um eight gram lovely so really what it is 18 gram of Pesa Canoi and 42 gram of Prince Albert so that makes it 70 30 for a total of 60 gram if I would have known I could configure it on a 50 gram but it does make no difference now if you uh, you can try it as well uh, by first 20 percent and then if you feel you want to add a bit more then you can add a bit more but yeah I think this is the right combination 70-30 so it's not a full-on English it's an English with a lovely added chocolate earthy nutty of the burley adds so much to the blend and it makes it um, so uh, mellowy um, softer less less overwhelming and very nice combination of although it's not chocolate topping here but the burley gives that added cocoa uh, earthiness to it with that fig plum spiciness of the latakia as well and the very nice smokiness um yeah really good mm, they'll love it i'm sure of it so this is the new blend here we are not sure what to name it but that's what it is for you to try as well mm. now i especially got myself um two tubs um one second where's my other no. i got myself two of these for this purpose so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix a whole tub um the 14 ounce i'm going to have to get a bucket um to do this with this lataki i'm going to have to get a bit more of the 40 i wanted to try it out first uh, you can get these in germany um yeah and yeah it's going to be a blend i'm going to smoke very often and also i'm going to enjoy this uh as it is for those you know um quick smokes that you don't have to think about just fill up a bowl and enjoy a good quality pipe smoking session well for those moments that i prefer like a bit more the smoky and why have i described yeah this blend will definitely be smoked quite regularly so this was today's video I would love to hear if you try it and what do you think of it and what percentage have you done it it's the same as mine have you used more of the latakia or less or did you use a different latakia hh or any other latakia blend that you can think of it has to be good quality of course and let me know what your verdict is uh, just before i go i'll just quickly light up the prince albert as it is and see the difference between the two nearly forgot to do that so here i've got the mix and here i've got the prince albert let's give it a light up properly yeah no smokiness of course no spiciness really a bit of the spice that i mentioned earlier i don't know where that comes from really um special retro inhale it but really what it is earthy nutty a bit of a chocolatey cocoa-y uh note with a, a bit of uh maybe the slightest of creaminess i'm not sure if it's vanilla or is it coming from the cavendish 
minute. Now, let's try quickly this one, the mix. Ah, went out. Yeah. Straight away, you notice the difference. You get that little spicy, smoky fruitiness to it. Oh yeah. Yeah, big difference. You don't lose any of the character of the burly. Still got that chocolatey note, the earthy nutty, but added to it is the delicious mellow, fruity spice and smokiness of the Latakia blend. Really nice. Okay, here we are. So these two, or any Latakia you choose, but in this case, these two, amazing. Right, so let me give the blend now to the guys that them try it. And uh, I would love to hear your feedback, what you think of it, and did you try it, and let me know what What's your, what's your palate tell you? Rightio, so this will be it for me for today. I would love to, to read your feedback in the comment section and talk about a bit more. I love trying out new things and I thoroughly enjoyed today's video and I hope you did as well. Right, so I'll see you guys soon on the next video and uh, wish you all well and take care. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.